Grade 4 math number 66. Add fractions with common denominators using models. All right, well, I just want to go over this really quick. A common denominator is a multiple that is shared by two or more fractions that were cut into the same amount of pieces or parts. If two fractions, let's say one fourth and two fourths, both have a four for the denominator, then they both have common denominators with each other and they represent something that was cut into four parts. So whatever it, the fraction is, candy bar, loaf of bread, whatever, they represent something that was cut into four parts. Okay? And the other thing I want to go over real quick is the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. Okay? So, let's see what Emma's doing. She baked a banana bread she ate one-eighth of it and gave five-eighths to her neighbor. So how much of the banana bread is gone? So here's the banana bread, and it was cut into eight slices, and she ate one of them, okay? She ate one of the slices. So here's all eight pieces, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was cut into eight pieces, and each piece is one-eighth. Okay? It's a unit fraction. If she gave five-eighths to her neighbor and she ate one-eighth, how much of the banana bread is gone? One-eighth, see, is one-eighth of the banana bread is how many slices? It's a one-eighth size. Five-eighths is how many of these slices? five and they're each sliced in the size of an eighth okay one eighth slice and a five eighth slice together is one two three four five six eighths see each slice was one eighth she ate one and five which is six of them so that's six eighths okay let's look at this one if this is one whole, and this is what fourths would look like compared to it, one fourth and then two fourths together would be one, two, three fourths. See? You add the numerator together and slide the denominator over, but it's one, two, three fourths. See that? Let's try this one. This is cut into tenths. It's cut into ten pieces, because this is what a whole one would look like if it wasn't cut. If you had six tenths and took three tenths more, how much of it would be cut and taken? Six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Six plus three is nine. And when the denominators are the same, we just slide them over. Nine tenths. See? Let's try another one. This is what one whole looks like before it gets cut. This is what it looks like when it's cut into six pieces. Three sixths of it, one, two, three, plus three sixths of it, one, two, three, is equal to how many sixths? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. See? And if you look, see? Six six is the same thing as one whole. Whenever a fraction is the same on the top and the bottom, same numerator and denominator, it equals one whole. Okay? Look at this one. This is one whole one before it's cut, and this is what it looks like when it's cut into eight pieces, just like her loaf of bread. Five plus two is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See? Because it stops here. 5 plus 2 is 7. We slide the denominator over 8 because they're all eighths. See? We're adding up 7 one eighth slices, so it's 7 eighths. I got one last one. <clears throat> we got a number line 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, which is one whole one. Okay? 3, 6, 1, 2, 3. Plus 2 sixths, 1, 2, is how many sixths? 
Well, if this is 1 6, and this is 1 6, and this is 1 6, and these are all 1 6, how many would we have if we took the pink and the green ones? We'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See? 3 plus 2 is 5, and we slid the denominator over because they're all sixths. We took little one-sixth pieces. We took five of them. See? So, that's how you can add fractions using models like a number line or uh, you could draw blocks. You can even buy these little things. They break apart. See? This is the one-sixth one. And you can break them apart and you can do one-sixth, two-sixth, three. See? They even have decimals on them, but they've got fractions on them, see? So you can use models like that, and you can add the fractions. You could even take bread and cut it up and try seeing if you can cut them evenly. You can get a piece of construction paper and make, a, make pretend bread and try to cut it evenly. Or you could just get strips of construction paper and split them into a fraction like one-tenths, one-eighths, one-seventh, and see if you can add the pieces together. That would be a good um, way to practice. We're going to talk about subtracting fractions in the next video. I hope to see you there. Bye.